Oh gosh, everything is all fucked up here. Cameras are going everywhere. Cameras are going everywhere. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Today, we're gonna be doing a breakdown and review of the exhaust components that make up my exhaust system. Flowmaster. Well, I went with the Flowmaster manifold and let's me let me just start out by saying that it's a pretty good manifold for the price. $330 to have it shipped to my door. I cannot complain. It was a very easy, straightforward install. Fair enough. It took care of my check engine lights and added a nice like throaty tone to the motor. Need to get this tripod on lockdown, I guess. Let's move on to my mid pipe. So I went with a company called Pace Setter. And again, it was a very affordable mid pipe with a catalytic converter. Well, instantly we see that this mid pipe is about three inches too long. Well, I, you know, what's up with that? I mean, normally I'd be happy with a little three extra inches, you know what I mean, fellas? But in this case, I mean, come on. The pace setter mid pipe, don't do it. Don't do it. You know, there was a lot of cutting and welding involved in this. And I'm, you know, I, I just assumed because it said, you know, direct fit replacement on Rock Auto's website that this would just basically be a unbolt and rebolt kind of job. Yeah, that really didn't happen. So yeah, going back to the pace setter, if you're looking at the pace setter, I would highly suggest another alternative. So let's move on to my Manzo exhaust system. It's a full stainless steel exhaust system. And another great thing about it is, it is incredibly affordable, or at least it was back when the company had it in stock. I heard recently that numbers and supply were getting low, so they recently ran up their price. Another thing about the sound of the exhaust system from Manzo, it has a performance-oriented tone. Now, what I mean by that is, it sounds like a performance car. Where the OEM system kind of muffled and did its job, you get a little bit of a more throaty tone with the Manzo, which is absolutely what I was looking for. What the Manzo is not, and this is why I bought the Manzo, what the Manzo is not is a giant fart canister sticking out the back of your car, screaming loud. It's a big, that's a big thumbs up. I mean, that's a no brainer right there. If you're looking to replace your catback exhaust system with a stainless steel exhaust system that doesn't scream ricer, that's not loud and obnoxious, I highly recommend the Manzo exhaust system. As far as performance gains and things like that, I'm sure that there's a little bit of an increase, but you know, between the manifold, the mid pipe, and the catback exhaust system, you know, I'd, I'd be surprised if it was anything more than maybe three or four horsepower. So let's go back to the beginning. The Flowmaster manifold, I highly recommend. It was affordable and it was a direct bolt-in replacement with just a little bit of work. The Pace Setter Mid-Pipe Catalytic Converter, hard pass. Again, I had to cut three inches off the mid-pipe and basically weld pieces together. Coming to an end here with the Manzo Catback Exhaust System, a stainless steel catback exhaust system. Pick it up. I just want to thank everybody for checking out this uh, video on my exhaust system. If you're liking the videos, make sure to give a thumbs up. If you want to see more, you know, hit that subscribe button. And again, I just want to thank everybody for taking their time to just come in here and check out what we're making here with this Lexus IS300 project.